So we heard from God, now we have to hear from country. Joe Diabwadi, a former congressman, spoken here many years ago and continues to support our school, our efforts, and human rights everywhere. Thank you, Doug, very much. Father, nice to meet with you. He gave you my last name, translated, Dio Guardi. Two beautiful Latin words. Dio, Deus in Latin, God. And Guardi means protect. In Spanish, Dios, Guardia, something like that. In any case, you know what's really important that I see here today? You. Because you are going to get to know each other. You're going to get to know the cultures of other countries. You're going to have a way of having respect for each other because you're going to gain knowledge about others. But respect begins with self-respect. You have to also respect yourself by making sure you're doing good in the world. We have a Catholic priest. I go to church on Sunday and I love the hymn that starts off, let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. This is, I think, what Mother Teresa would have said. St. Mother Teresa now, she was canonized just last year. So what I say is, what I see is a great opportunity in this group of diversity to get to know each other, learn each, about each other's families, cultures, traditions, and bring that back to your families and your friends in other countries. My daughter is a songwriter. Many of you are probably too young to remember her as a judge on American Idol. She was two years a judge on that. So she's very well known. And she's still one of America's top songwriters. And she is using music for peace. In fact, I introduced her to a doctor, Wendy Sternberg, a medical doctor, who gave up her practice to begin a foundation called Genesis at the Crossroads to bring different people around the world together, many your age, with different instruments. And she has another program, Arm Them With Instruments. She means music. Because there's a way of using music to get to know, to know each other, to bring down those walls that separate us geographically, politically, and by all other things. I have a foundation that I set up called Truth in Government. When I left government as a congressman, by the way, I was elected here, uh, I lived not far, in a neighborhood, probably just five minutes from here, in the Rochelle, my children, Tara and John, were born here. I now live in Ossining, which is really a part of my old district, but you probably don't know that they change those districts every 10 years, so that it's not the same. But I'm still in my old district, the northern part, in Ossining, right on the Hudson River. But Kara is now using her ability as a celebrity to bring people together. And she teaches once a week at the Berkeley School in Boston, songwriting. And I'm now introducing Dr. Sternberg to the, Dillons, the, the Eastman School of Music in Rochester to see if we can get this program going, program of diversity to bring peace. Now, there's a very famous line by Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, a Protestant minister, in his book, The Power of Positive Thinking. And it's to empower you. And that's where peace starts, with you. And he said if you put 10 words together, only two letters each, you have a very powerful message. If it is to be, it is up to me. So you have the ability to do something very important with your lives, as I did. I left in a career after 22 years as a certified public accountant. No one ever did that before. I'm the first accountant ever elected to the U.S. Congress. And believe me, they need it. They don't know how to add up anything. They know how to spend. They don't know how to add. And, and that's important for you because one of the most immoral things happening today is intergenerational injustice. We're spending but you're gonna to have to pay for it. And that they're not even keeping the right set of books like I was taught as a CPA to say what the real debt is because politicians control the numbers and they wanna get reelected. 
So we have discord in America, created by politics, and that's bad. A couple of people I'll mention and I'll finish. Uh, remember Martin Luther King and Gandhi. Why? They wanted peace, racial justice. And by the way, if you want peace, you need the truth. You need the right information. And then you need justice to come with it. And, but he did something very important, like Mahatma Gandhi, nonviolent activity. And that's what he did, so that you accomplish things through demonstrations, but through nonviolence. Now, St. Mother Teresa, obviously an Albanian, one of my heroes as a Roman Catholic, but also my father came here from Italy speaking Albanian in the year 1921. I'm the son of immigrants. I was raised in the back of a food store in the Bronx. We moved to Westchester when I was 15, and thank God, my parents realized I needed a really good education, and but they had made me work for it in that store. But I got a good education at Fordham Prep and Fordham University, eight years with the Jesuits, and that gave me a good sense for justice and things like that. So with that, I encourage you to think big, like I did, and work hard. Think big, because the world needs that. It needs leaders like you that have a broad feeling for the world, a, a, a wider feeling, and that comes with knowing other people. I worked very hard to bring the Albanian people and the Serbian people together. They were at war until I had a role of bringing their leader to the Hague and to get real justice. But it's not the people that are the problems. It's their political systems. It's their divisions, polarization by others just seeking power or money. Don't think that way. Think about justice. And think about truth and bring peace to the world, but let it begin with you. Thank you very much for having me.